Hello, my name is Peter Eckelmann. I'm Product Marketing Manager at MSC. Today I would like to introduce the new Q7 module with the processors from the Embedded G series from AMD. This module, which has just been presented by MSC, is a combination of the processors of the Embedded G series containing a very strong graphics unit and uh, good computing capabilities with the variety of I.O. interfaces that uh, can be found for all modules from the Q7 module range. Here is an example of this module. Q7 is square 7 by 7 centimeters, very compact, and it combines the processor on the left-hand side and the A50M I.O. controller hub on the right-hand side. Next to these two chips, there is a number of DRAM chips. The module can provide up to 4 GB of DRAM soldered on the module. The other side of the module also contains some more memory chips. Optionally, there can also be a flash disk soldered on the module, which could be up to 32 gigabytes in size. The most important feature of the new Q7 module is obviously the graphics capability of the CPU. The CPU is a combination of a very powerful CPU clocked at 1 gigahertz, available in versions with single core and dual core CPU, and an integrated graphics unit which is offering a performance level that previously could only be found in discrete external graphics cards. As a result, this module is capable of driving up to two independent graphics channels displaying up to full HD at the same time. And both display channels could even have independent content. So this is usually uh, described as dual independent display. The graphics channels are HDMI or alternatively, and that is selectable, DisplayPort 1.1a. The other graphics channel usually is LVDS, which is a dual channel implementation of LVDS capable as well of driving up to full HD at a resolution 1920 by 1200 pixels. The graphics unit of Embedded G-Series processors can be used optionally as a background turbocharger for general purpose computing. There is an abbreviation for this, GPGPU, which means general purpose computing on graphics processing units. The module with the AMD Embedded G-Series processors allows to make use of the enormous computing capabilities of the graphics unit using the OpenCL library so that applications can be realized which can make use of the enormous computing capabilities allowing to realize uh, very computing intensive applications and the small module can result in a graphics and in a computing performance which is formally only realizable for very big multi-core processors of let's say three or four times the power consumption as the Q7 model today. Here in the background you can see a test board for Q7 modules. It is a reference platform from MSC and we have mounted the Q7 module with a small heat spreader and a heat sink so that we can run it at full speed driving the DVI screen here in the background showing a full HD module at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz frame rate. The baseboard is a reference platform in ATX form factor and is usually used in laboratory environments because it is quite spacious. However, it enables the user to perform 
a number of test and evaluation tasks and it allows access to all interfaces of the module. Of course, for space constraint applications, this board would be much too large. Therefore, MSC is providing another board, the Q7 MB EP4, which is an application board, three and a half inch in size, and the Q7 module with its heat spreader is here mounted on the back side. On the front, the user has access to the interfaces of the module. Here we have the DVI interface and the LVDS interface. And next to that we have USB interfaces, two LAN interfaces, SATA and some more even a serial interface is realized. And here is the MSATA expansion slot, which is right now carrying a flash disk. And this is a mini PCI Express card slot that could also be used for extension purposes. This card is very compact, but for the Q7 form factor, it is still quite large, so I have already seen other baseboard realizations that will allow to make the complete system even smaller and even more compact than here in this case. The power consumption of the Q7 module is so low that passive cooling is more than sufficient and this will allow to realize very compact applications so that even portable applications can be realized using this module. In general, we can say that the Q7 module with the embedded G-series from AMD is obviously the best choice for all applications requiring high-resolution, large-size graphics such as advertising panels, digital signage, point of information displays, but at the same time, other applications like uh, cash registers and industrial uh, applications using the computing performance of the module rather than the graphics performance uh, will also be realizable. And as a summary, you can say that the Q7 module with the AMD Embedded G series is certainly a general purpose computing product that can be used for any kind of industrial application. The module is available as samples right now and is rapidly moving into volume production. Thank you.